All right. So we're gonna we've been working on the gift wrap and variations of it, setting up the body triangle from the mount, right? Those kinds of things. Um, but just as a general concept, we went over this with the kids and the, and the other adults classes. When he's T Rex from side control and mount, so I'm gonna show you from side control and mount and get the general concept. So when I have my opponent T Rex like this, I can get him gift wrap when I get this arm across his body and I start grabbing the arm around the back of his head. Once I get this, I can take a little bit of a rest. You know, like this is a serious grip, okay? Uh, but I can't always fight with my hands and it's also good to fight with our belly, okay, and our chest. So I wanna get behind his tricep as much as I can and start to learn how to just move my opponent's arm across the body. I can push in on my toes, right? I can get higher in the mount. I can start to turn like this. This is a general, fundamental movement that can be good for arm bars, S mount, technical mount, all of that kind of stuff too. But we understand these concepts. If, if Brock stays super tight with his elbows on the side of his body, this means that his wrists are weak in order to take out, okay? If he brings his elbows close to the center of his body, okay, this means it's easy for me to push his arm across his body and start getting towards his back. I mean, this is our ultimate goal, right? Wanna get over here, we'll have the hooks in, right? So it's the same. It's the same general concept from side control, okay? I could be in side control, get behind his shoulder and his chest and just push in, arms free. Push in hard enough that he turns a little bit, get this position where I step into technical mount, and grab his wrist and start taking, taking his back and all that good stuff, right? So I want you guys to do it from side and from back, okay? If I were to get super technical towards the camera, if I were regular side control and I wanted to tap this T-Rex arm, I would sprawl the leg that's in his head, like normal cent kilos, right? Uh, uh, Cassie Gitami is a different one, 100 kilos or 100 kilos. With the kids, sometimes I'll call this fourth lift, but, and I can get behind his elbow if I need to, which will raise his shoulder. Once you get me behind his shoulder, now I can start pushing and now I'm good to step over and start going that direction, right? So if I need to really force it from side, again, I'll be in regular side control and I'll sprawl the side out towards his head. Rolling this side out doesn't help me. If you are uh, moving to your you on here like this. If I can, I'll just use my chest from the beginning. If not, I have the ability right here to give a little bit of a push. My left hand is underneath driving his armpit like a deep cross face would be anyways, right? Over here, I go to this left hand is now in his armpit. If I needed to, so I could lift with my left hand and even help chair sit him with my left hand. So that grip is there also from the beginning, right? It's hard to explain all that in the video. Uh, 180 for me, Brock. Just so that the 180 for me, there you go. So the concept is here. And from mount. So you guys will go two times a piece. Not two times a piece, but two in a row. Side control mount, side control mount. Sometimes I'm here like this, and I gotta use my belly. I have to use my hands on my belly. Sometimes I could just use my belly, but I don't want him down there. I like it cross. Look how I can put his hand over there with my belly. Or you saw what happened a lot from side control. Brock only that planting to stop that downward movement, which gives me his wrist. And I'm already here, right? So I want to push to the point where I can force the hip wrap in one way or the other. Either my belly puts his arm all the way around or he plants it. Make sense? General concept. Push them over. Try to use your hands the least amount as possible. In the beginning, it's gonna be good if the training partner has their elbows here. This will make it a little easier. Like I said, when they get too down like this, I wouldn't do that. I would concentrate on moving the wrists out somehow, you know? So like, we're here like this, this guy's super T-Rexed up. Good to go. Yes. One person, two minute drills. Ready, set.